Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, uh, analytical SQL, the six commands. Uh, I'm using the site uh, sqlauthority.com. Now, in analytical SQL, you have um, uh, eight commands, which is cumulative distribution, first value, last value, lead, lack, percentile, continued, percentile, and descent, percentile, rank. These are only available in uh, uh, 2012 SQL. Now to start with uh, these commands we need to know about um, the, uh, the window function. So windowing in SQL which is done by uh, over. So over command in SQL which, uh, uh, which is the over clause. So it defines a window or a specified set of row uh, uh, for which the associating win associated window function is applied. So uh, let's look at some of the examples. So, so the over class uh, SQL functions were introduced uh, window function in 2005 although the analytical uh, functions came into 2012. They use a CTE expression first to uh, make a common table and then they use it. So let me show you how that what so we have a common table expression which is this and if I run this I get uh, a common table which is only available on runtime and after this bracket I am using the select customer number and sum and whatever what I want to do now let's uh, see how we are going to use this to uh, understand our things now the over clause is to define a window over which the function will be applied, the default functionality is to define a window for the entire table. Uh, uh, some of the over command, uh, some of what makes over over unique includes the fact that different windows can be specified in a single select. So uh, that is it. Now the over clause takes uh, three additional arguments. First is partition, order by, and rows or range. And this is important. The partition by clause is used to reduce the scope of the windows to the aggregation pipeline. So let's see how that works. So I'm going to copy that command. So to run this, I have to go to SQL, create a new query, copy this and copy the common table expression which is this copy the common table expression select everything and run okay let's see what it is doing now uh, first the uh, when the cte which is with orders dot ct as select this as order id this 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 and uh, union select so we are fit, fit, filling in some values select customer name sum of order amount over uh, and sum of order over partition by customer name as partition by name. So when we partition that by name, the sum is only happening by uh, uh, that uh, partition, which is this guy. Now, um, if we select sum as over and we give no parameter, which is which means that we are not passing anything, then uh, the sum would happen for the for everything, like for all of these fifteen guys. But when we use partition by customer name. Uh, it would partition by these respective people and take the sum here. Uh, so this is one of the three arguments, but uh, the partition is the first argument partition by. Uh, and order by would become useful when we use something like percentile rank or uh, cumulative distribution or things like that. So uh, order by is used in order how the partitioning would apply on window function. For instance, order by uh, could be used to um, uh, calculate uh, the sum but here uh, uh, it's, it's not so relevant but uh, let's see ordering by name ordering by name so this this means that uh, uh, when we partition by name these are the partitions that would uh, work uh, now uh, Ordering by name or uh, playing with name means that uh, uh, 
the 61 would get added to 68 and you will get a 120 line because uh, uh, when you say sum order amount and you order by uh, customer name as order by name so you are using this order by which means that uh, uh, it's going to take the sum so if no partition is specified order will apply to the entire result set or the default partition this is particularly important so uh, when nothing is set it would uh, order it by by the name of the people so it's going to take the customer name and order it by customer and keep on adding it okay let's look at this image uh, aggregation window daily total sum order over partition by order date so uh, ranking window daily rank rank over partition by order date order uh, by order amount and descending so this is how it's working now once we say partition by order date uh, the date becomes the criteria to create that partition so all the different dates have become uh, order by order amount which means that uh, order amount now becomes um, uh, the next criteria and we put it into descending order and then we have rows and ranges so it, this is like the third clause where we can select a current row unbounded preceding unbounded following and preceding and and following let's try to run them here okay let's see if we want to partition by customer name okay we have that and we have that okay so i'm running the the next query which would do a lot of things it has over partition order by and a lot of things so to run that starting with uh, uh, the with command which is the um, uh, CTE expression to create a temporary uh, table and I can uh, use it to uh, run the command okay let's see at what's happening we are using lag lead lead first value last value when we use the lag uh, and we partition by customer name it means that this customer name Joe Sam Smith is actually the uh, the individual partition we use order by order ID and then we say uh, lag of that which means that we want to find out the previous uh, amount now uh, since this uh, guy Joe is uh, not having any previous amount we will get a null but this Joe uh, the previous amount was 10 here as you can see from this cell which is highlighted so it will uh, give 10 the previous amount for sam was 11 so uh, order by order id means that uh, order id is the one uh, from where we are going to pull the last lag value uh, but partition means the, that the partition of these names are created so uh, we should not mix them up so after uh, the partition comes the uh, order by command which is uh, order by id uh, then we have the lead again by the same way and then we have the lead uh, uh, 2 and this number and then we have the first value let's look at the first value if we say first value order date uh, over order by id and first order date which means that we'll get the first order date and uh, since we did it order by order id it's going to be for all order ids and not by everything but when we look at the last value we first create a partition by order uh, date so we are checking all the dates and uh, based on that date then we are ordering that by order id so on the last date for uh, uh, for everybody and then last customer so uh, for every date uh, like for this date who was the last customer and so on so here we are using partitioning by order date order by order id and we want the last uh, customer uh, name because we want to take the last customer name from that list uh, so that was uh, about uh, uh, the different uh, over clauses
on the, uh, which is uh, uh, a windowing function.